Tusker on the bottom lane. Now that's suicide. Like, who are we going to put in it? Like, yeah, that, that's the big question. Because I want the Tusk to be in the aggro trial and obviously to you, snowball you, in, but you, you, you can't. Gotta, you got to jar if you're going to find kills if you're running an aggro. At the same time, there's no control on the clinks on the top lane. He's about in level six, which means he does get that little bit of a uh, yeah. of a burst bot movement lane. around the map because he has dark the death pact. And this bot is that movement we're yep. also talking about on Jules. It's just a simple void. Night time, all the movement speed. The iron shell burn will actually get the kill. In fact, he didn't even keep attacking just to make sure he could stay on his heels. So Darkseid will get the first blood. He committed so heavily underneath the tower. Even with Laguna Blade, which is kind of what Cuckoo's aiming for. Radiant's just that quick burst damage, but with a nice soccer running into the lane. Oh, Life Striker Ray will be able to connect at the same time, so does the boy. Oh, he's got enough! <laughs> okay. Maybe not thinking that one through. Our jungle has been invaded. The incursion of the Darks here, and they're going to look for it again at bot lane. Yeah, I'd be more worried about Jules down, down here. He'll go for the call down, but you just run yourself out of this one. Like, why take the damage? Why take the extra slow? You just let the Iron Shell do its work. Kang's not exposed to it, but with the Void now, it'll be the double Iron Shell burn. Plus the fist burn. This is going to make a big, big difference between when the Gyrocopter comes online and when the Clink starts hunting. Because Clink's taking up the T1 tower on the top lane. There's no fortification. I, that's the only way I can see that happening. Right now, Earthshaker, well, he didn't really want to find Yamatera inside the inside the tree line. One attack, and then just the raise. In fact, it's just going to be the raise required to find the kill, but the rest of it has vision whatsoever inside the trees. Now he does have vision because the Dire Observer was watching Vash, but what's Vash going to do? A crazy snowball in? He can go for the Night Stalker, and it's probably the easier kill. Laguna Blade, they need to secure it, but they don't even need that, so it's fine. They get something out of this. At least it would stop, uh, like, if Tusk are snowballing in. You just yule septor yourself out. Uh, but Cuckoo, well, there's your Fissure, Live Strike Array. Like, who to play the marble? And this is the death of Yamate. Or oh, should be the death. Should be the death of Yamate. He did not have another bottle charge up his sleeve. The Tuscar has died in the meantime, but Lena tries to keep going on the Night Stalker as to battle in the back lines, but you also lose the Dark Seer to the Silencer. Good money to be taken into his bank account. Or, one, two, three, try and fight. The SF triggers the DD rune, and it's just a tower trade off. They get the fortification out from Mines uh, uh, from Mineski, but there's Jewel Scepter going on the Night Stalker. Kuku really low, in fact, they're actually getting him to focus him. And Night Stalker actually finds the kill over on the Lena. Minerva's still gonna go down and tries to embrace himself, but that magical damage is there from the Gyrocopter. So they'll lose two for this one. They still brought down the Lena, and the tier two tower was taken. They're, they're busy on the, on the lanes farming. Like, Ben's on bottom, Minerva's on mid. Now they're bringing him up towards the top lane. But Night Stalker's the one to be initiated on Yamatea. Well, there's your global silence one. Uh, maybe there is enough life from Night Stalker. No, there's not. Couldn't get away from uh, all five heroes in Yamatea. Whoa, whoa! Let's the ulti off. Well, he's gonna kick the edge of the Earthshaker. But this Radiant Observer Ward saw everything that was going on. Not to mention the range creeper was pulled in. While Cuckoo is diving underneath the tier 2 tower looking for where I really want to be. He's not going for the Yasha greedy Helmet Dominator farming build. He's just going to go for the right. I'll tank up. I'll team fight. We'll get up in their faces a little bit. There's a Yule Scepter up right now. Lena going to be put under. And Lena in a lot of trouble trying to run away. But the Urn Charge is actually going to tick her out. The Bottle Charge is trying to keep Cuckoo alive. But he just lost the Earthshaker and the Tusker on the back lines to the Clinks. And Cuckoo will be capable of surviving through this. Just. The Tusker isn't going to be this brutal fighter. And the Clinks proved the fact with this Desolator, he can just carve them apart. So they run to themselves and again, there's already that uh, Void over the Gyrocopter. It lets the Rocket Barrage go, that Fissure block. Well, it will actually hold him in. Then again, Jules doesn't want to be here. The Desolator back back in, Jules one more attack with the Walrus Punch. Key Mount and the Echo Slam, but it's only committed on a solo Clinks. They oh. have to run away until Cuckoo able to find that Laguna Blade kill and the Life Strike Array over on Kang, holding him in position, but then Kang surge up. But no Life Strike Array, it's going to be a secondary Yule except the Yamate. Let's the ulti off, it's on the edge of the leaner. Again, gonna miss that live striker. Ray and in comes the winter wire at the perfect moment. Puts him under. The Night Stalker still ended up dying to the silencer all the way down on the bottom lane in front of the tier 3 tower. But the battle isn't done just yet in the mid. Yamate gonna get sharded up, locked Radiant's in a little bit closer. This is sort of glaive harassment. Nothing much more than that. Yamate still got a bottle charge up his sleeve, and they got make charges available. It's gonna Yule step around the damage. I think it's just a casual cloak for now, just to try and mitigate the rocket barrage and light strike ray damage, things like that. He's, he's picked up that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're snowballing. Oh yeah. They're coming up for Kang. 
He's going to try and surge himself oh, away, man. but at the same time, the Clink's <laughs> going to be here. There is the Global Silence with the Sentry Wall. They can find the Clink's. He's still going to find that one kickoff, but this is nowhere near worth it. Well, maybe it is for the Agony, uh, for the Aegis, the Immortal. And Jules starts the call down, and they put the Gyrocopter under. And Ben, how much damage have you got? Nowhere near enough for Lacuna Play. One, two, three, taking a fight, which they really cannot do until Yamate winds up for the oh. PKB, but the secondary Yule Scepter keeping Cuckoo alive. The damage will still be there from the right click, but maybe it's not to kill up the Winter Wyvern, and it is before her own death, making a three for three trade off. The uh, the Lena able to find two of them, his death pact, and now they've isolated Jules. So a quick void, uh, obviously no BKB, one charges won't help him, and the damage output. He's the greatest way they could have started the fight. Like, you came in, you're able to isolate the Darkseer very, to, at the start. The support every time it came in, it would just get pushed back. Now Yamate, Echo Slam, Global Science, Laguna Blade, they ensure wow. the kill is still a little bit more control. Because you're not looking at, at any kind of disable coming out from the Clinks. It's pure damage coming out from me. It's about to just pop the silencer. Like, four attacks has to wait for that to happen. He's got his BKB. So even if they do try and counter initiate on him, he can now BKB up, tries to outrun the snowball, successful at doing so, dust up, so the shards will kick in too. But he can try and turn a fight to reinforce his death pack, and in fact, that is actually his death. Surprising. He could have just BKB from the start and tried to TP out. They got ways to hunt the Clinks down. Yamate, very Radiant's smart blink, further down the tree lines. They still believe he's down here, Dead. and they're gonna find him. And the quick movement down, Yamate just destroyed. Lena was moving around. Innately part of the hero's maneuverability or, like, hero lore. Oh, they found someone. <laughs> Goodbye, Lena. Shadow Blade's a wonderful thing until you walk underneath. They're on the front lines, and they aren't really frontline heroes. You don't want to do this, Jules. Perfectly visible, and then they go for the darkness. They just initiate over the gyrocopter with the Requiem of Souls. Attack the, the back of Vash there, but it's Yamate moving forward after the back of the Silencer. You will set her up, and leave Vash. Nope, there's going to be a fact that Nine Stalker Vision still going to work. They thought they were safe with the tree lines, and all he can do is just basically snowball, wait it, wait it out, and then just a quick attack, and he is down for the count. Three heroes lost, nothing lost for one, two, three, and it'll be a walk for the top racks. Sans up over on Cuckoo Wall is also going to get burned. They want to bring down this tower and then just open up the racks. That's the goal. Oh, they just keep back. attacking. In fact, they get so close to Cuckoo, they may even find that kill with a blink down from Yamate. They've got it, and this will be melee racks, and potentially even mid. The Jara Cup is coming back up again. Lena does have buyback available, but they've already lost top. She'll only buy back if they try and rotate to mid. They've got level 2 Echo, they've got a bunch of ulties, but they don't have global Snowball, blink in, Echo Sam, they're going for it, Lee is bought back into this, and then Kang, he needs to be actually protected, but no, the Gyrocopter Rocket of all things is the thing to find, it's the kill, while Yamate being brought down by the right clicks of Cuckoo, the Yule Sam keeping him out of the fight for the moment, tries to run away, but you've still got that vision, Nice Stalker slowed up too much, he can't keep the range on Cuckoo. They can see the fact that Vaj can jump back in, but with the Darks here and the SF down, one, two, three. They really don't want to have to fight this one. Can they get the Knights? It can actually, sorry, get that uh, gem back off the Night Stalker. Now the wall is punched for Ben. He's still here for the fight, and maybe nope. They're just going to let him die. They actually hand over the gem. Yeah, they did. I thought he was actually dropping something. He dropped the Ring of a <laughs> Quilla, yeah. so he was capable of picking up the gem from the Night Stalker. They just accepted the fact he was committing you. You know that there's nothing else going to go through your BKB apart from Laguna Blade, and he's going to be the target that uh, that the leader wants to take out. Oh, uh, shake up. Quick force, but the vacuum and blink from Kang. Gonna slow down Oa and, uh, well, have they got enough damage? Yep. yep. They do. But it's, it's near permanent. I think it was like five seconds down. Oh, Minerva. Blinked away after the initiation. He actually got away from a four-man smoke gank of Mineski here. Yamatez winning two seconds for his blink. They're gonna come back off cooldown. The quick TP out from Tuscar will be successful. But in comes 343. Three. They actually found one over on the side. In fact, it's a dark sea of back wall. This is gonna be the death here of maybe no, nope, no, nope, gang will survive. It's actually the death of the Lena with the clean speaking up a double. About to be a triple kill as the damage output <laughs> is just way too much. Two attacks to kill off that poor little earth shaker. And this will be bottom racks. No buybacks. 80 minutes without your Lena. I'll play in the meantime. Top racks completely gone. So they've taken both side lanes of racks. It's here. One, two, three. Took out the melee at the bottom. No reason to over. What does Bloodstone give you? Oh, the AoE heal. Okay, okay. The respawn time. I'll, I'll give you that, Toby. Yes. That. All these wonderful different abilities <laughs> with all function to help you win the game. It gives you these things, Durka. Smoking. Um, 
Like, that's the thing. Even with a five-man dunk from the Earthshaker, followed up with, you know, the multitude of abilities Manesky oh, have. they found the Earthshaker. Goodbye, Echo Slave. Goodbye, Earthshaker. They move over to the Silencer now. And two, the Tusker tries to more protected, but then Yamate, BKB, the Walrus Punch, will cancel that Requiem of Assault. He can't get it off, and, uh, well, now, actually, he will get it off, but at the same time, the Lina just pops out. The Clinks, too much damage to deal with. The Lina does have buyback, but she just used it. No one else has buyback now for the rest of their team. Ghost have trying to protect Cuckoo for now. But the bottom lane's been completely done. And Minerva continues to move forward, keeping the slow going. Razors, Yamate, they're coming back in again for him with a snowball down, sending up both the SF. But the damage output's too much. The Gemma Truth side is lost. The Lena is lost. Jules is lost. The game is lost. GG. One, two, three. We'll take game number one here of our best of three. And for the MLG Pro League, it's the qualifiers for Season 3. It's not over for Vineski, there are other ways to get through. Four teams, four teams were able to qualify themselves in through the Pro League. Uh, you get two from the upper part of the bracket and two from the lower part of the bracket. For the details, go to joinedo.com, click on the Leaks, leaks tab, uh, and then go to whichever region you